Conniving, mischievous, self-interested, plotting, scheming, selfish. Is that what diplomacy people are? Well, I think uh, diplomacy is a great game because uh, it really tests you in many different ways. It's not just your ability to think logically about uh, you know what your moves should be and what other people are likely to do. And you always try to figure out what's going through other people's brains, right? But it's also got a lot of emotional element to it as well. Uh, it's a rough game. It's very tough on on people's egos because uh, almost invariably, for most people, they're going to get stabbed at some point uh, by somebody. And they're going to have somebody betray them. And, you know, some people find that tr rough. Now this crowd is a rough, tough crowd. These guys have been stabbed a thousand times each. So they don't care. They're, they're, they're ready for it. But uh, regular people playing diplomacy uh, find it a very contentious, emotionally difficult experience because it is so... Uh, well, as I say, there's nothing, there's no luck in it. So it's just a how well you can negotiate, how well you can make deals, how do you trust people, when to trust people, when are they going to betray you, figuring all that out, it's very, it's not easy, it's not easy and I think, uh, I mean diplomacy is a great game, it's almost one of those games I think should be part of the public education system, should be, everybody should learn it kind of in probably the last year of high school I would say would be the ideal time when everybody should learn how to play diplomacy. But I'm telling you, if you did that, about 70% would come away saying, I hate that game. Because it's not for everybody. It's most people find it too rough, too tough. You have to be you have to have a certain resilience, a certain toughness in order to handle diplomacy. And but even though it's rough and tough, I still say everybody should go through it because you learn skills. You learn about, well, how is politics? You, guess what? You can't always trust people. When push comes to shove, most people, most of the time, will do what's in their interests, right? They'll do what is good for them. And uh, diplomacy teaches that better than any other thing I think I've ever seen. So uh, do people need to know that? I think they do. Uh, now, on the, on the on the con side, of course, uh, often diplomacy players are uh, learned to be very good at being dishonest. Is that a good thing? Well, you know, I, I'm somebody who believes honesty is a good thing, and you know, I, I, I like to think of myself as having high morals, but even scoundrels think they have high morals, right? So, um, but I think uh, the lesson, the lessons diplomacy teaches are so to getting by in the real world, but I think it should be part of the public education system. So I hope that gives you what you needed. Wow, oh, I agree. How long have you been playing? I've been playing for more than 25 years. Wow. My four older brothers and uh, we used to play a lot of games, but I learned to play, I think when I was, you know, like 10 or 12 years old. I didn't really get serious about it until I was in high school, though. And then I've been organizing the Canadian Diplomacy Tournament for the last 15 years oh, wow. in Calgary, Alberta. First. First Saturday in January, every year we have a tournament, we've had up to 40 people there, and we have a trophy, we give people a nice certificate, sometimes we've had prizes, but actually we've, we've gone away from having prizes because, you know, diplomacy is contentious enough. Suddenly people think they're going to win a prize, you know, whether it's uh, some dinky, like, $10 you know, we bought somewhere and they're all, you know, but suddenly they're ferociously interested and angry and, you know, we, we didn't need that kind of stress. I mean, life's stressful enough. The game's stressful enough. And uh, so we said, you know, forget it. We'll give people a certificate. We'll get their name on the trophy. And uh, if, they don't, if they want more than that, we give them food. We feed everybody, you know. Ten bucks. You get diplomacy all day. Get to eat. Maybe get your certificate and name on the trophy, you know. What else can you ask, you know? And a great time, and you know, it's fun. But it is rough. Yeah. I mean, I'm, let's say, if I could leave your viewers with something, diplomacy is not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. Uh, but again, everybody should go through it. And uh, teaches a lot of different skills. I use it, actually, by the way. I teach uh, diplomacy uh, when I taught courses at the University of Calgary, Reeves College, uh, Mount Royal. 
uh, and I when I teach uh, business communication or uh, actually a number of courses I've used diplomacy as part of the course because it teaches so many skills and uh, it's a great game.